if w1 is defined this set and w2 is another set defined like this are two subspaces of r5 over r then dimension of intersection w1 and w2 so we have to find dimension of intersection as a w1 is a service space of w1 is a service space of r5 over r and same as w2 is also service space of r5 over r this is a vector space this is vector space and dimension of this vector space is 5 so dimension of w1 always less than equal to 5 means the dimension of w1 and w2 never exceed 5 similarly for dimension of w2 how to find dimension of any service space or vector space suppose x y z are triplets which are coming in vector space so how to write dimension or how to know what is the dimension of this dimension simple meaning is number of linearly independent and spanning set number of number of linearly independent and spanning elements known as the dimension means basis elements number of basis elements is the dimension so if this is belongs r3 then how to write basis elements of r3 in place of x write 1 and make other entry 0 this is first basis element second basis element will be make second entry 1 and other 0 and same third entry make 1 and other entry 0 these are standard ordered basis for r3 so if we are going to write basis of w1 how to write first w1 is given as x y z x comma t means x is repeated at first and fourth entry so if we are going to write basis for this so make first entry 1 and uh, other zeros means in place of x make 1 and other entry 0 so x is 1 so first entry is 1 and fourth entry is again 1 because of x both are x and other entries are 0 so this is the first element this is the first element of basis normally i'm not uh, we cannot say this is first but uh, element of basis second element or second one will be make one in place of y and other entry zero this is second element third entry make one and other entry zero and in place of fifth entry make one and other entries zero means the dimension of w1 as we already explained dimension of w1 never exceed five and here we can say that dimension of w1 is four now what is the dimension of w2 w2 is first entry zero and uh, other four are variables so w2 is given as first entry is 0 x y z t this is w2 so make first in place of first variable 1 and other entry 0 so because of we are not free at first position make 1 in place of x and other entry 0 so this is one of basis element of w2 make uh, third entry one and other zeros this is second element this is another third element and this is another fourth element again dimension of w2 is four 
Now we have to find dimension of intersection W1 and W2. Dimension of intersection, it means number of common elements in basis. This is basis beta 1 for W2, sorry W1 and this is basis beta 2. So dimension of intersection, it means uh, common basis, number of common elements. So find number of common elements. If you are looking this point, then these two are common, means they are same. Red mark are same, 0, 1, 0, 0. And uh, other, this is again same. So two elements we have found and uh, this is another element and same. So dimension of intersection is 3. So you can find basis elements and you can tell about the dimension of intersection. Otherwise, to find dimension of intersection, it means simply as the W1 is x, y, z, x, t. This was W1 and W2 is 0, x, y, z, t. This is W2. So intersection will have common properties. It means for W1, first entry and fourth entry is 0 and for W2, first entry must be 0. So intersection contain first entry 0 because of W2 and by W1, fourth entry is same as first entry. So fourth entry is again 0 and other are free. So this you can write x, y and uh, last one you can write another variable name is z. So and x, y, z are coming from real. So you can check here dimension of this one will be 3. Dimension of intersection will be 3. So these are two effect ways to find the dimension of intersection. So option B is correct.